For the first time in a decade, Michigan beat its biggest rival with a championship on the line. As third tenure sides Mike Lissette found out, this victory means so much to the players and coaches who suffered through the losing streak. As Michigan fans rushed the field, I heard shouts of, we did it, and I saw tears in their eyes. They wanted this one bad, and so did Michigan head coach Jim Harbaugh, who after five straight losses to the Buckeyes once said he would beat OSU or die trying. After the game, he acknowledged there were some fans who thought this day may never happen, but he never doubted, and neither did his team. Just what you do. Just what you do. You don't uh, just keep keep working, keep grinding, um, knowing that uh, you know it's going to pay off. You know, he's, he's faced a lot of his adversities since he's been coach here, and to see him finally beat Ohio State, you know, as a team, as a unit, we knew what this team was capable of, and it all starts with him. The difference maker for Harbaugh and Michigan was Hassan Haskins. The senior simply took over in the second half with four of his five touchdowns. He's now etched his name in this rivalry's history, and it's something he says he doesn't take for granted. Yeah, it was, I told myself I'm, I'm not going down. You know, uh, we got to win this, win this ball game. And I just kept telling myself that, and uh, that just, I stuck that, I put that in the back of my mind, and uh, I went out there with determination to, to win. You know, I, I told you guys um, at the Big Ten Media Day that we were emphasizing this game more. And, um, you know, everyone, everyone seemed to have a lot of questions about that in terms of how we were doing it. And I told you to trust me, we were doing it. And, um, you know, I mean, you go out there, you see how we played in that dominant fashion. Um, there you go. And so now for the first time in school history, Michigan heads to the Big Ten title game. Should they win next Saturday, they'll stay in the running to make the college football playoff. Reporting from a snowy Ann Arbor, I'm Mike Lissette, 13 on your side sports.